This video is specifically for the uh, Hawaii collectors, and this is an update on Shining Fates. Um, it's supposed to drop next week, Friday. Uh, I ordered a significant amount of the product with the hopes that I could get product here to the island. Um, Two thousand dollars of of what I ordered was canceled two weeks ago, so I'm not exactly sure how much is going to come in and when it's going to come in because we know that there's going to be uh, multiple. Uh, releases. I think there's four waves, one each month with um, different products releasing each month. Um, I have some confirmations, um, but I have a lot of product that's not yet been confirmed and probably won't be until next week. Um, I have three cases of ETBs coming in that, that's been ordered, but again, I don't know in which wave they're going to come in. So uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to to do this as fairly as possible for folks. Um, people who have credit from selling bulk, you folks still have first uh, shot at getting packs and products. So what I'm going to do is, what, what you folks need to do is subscribe and turn on the notifications because what I'm going to do is release a video uh, on YouTube letting people know what's come in and the prices and, and all of that. Uh, and so if you've subscribed and you're, you've got the notifications on, you'll get, um, you'll get notified sooner. Um, and then for those people who, who get that notice, if you have credit, you can, you, well, you can message me and I'm going to put, create a list of uh, first come first serve, uh, but only f first for those who have credit. So if you don't have any credit, you can still get your name on the list but the people who respond who have credit in that first 24 hour period will get priority over anyone else so i'll go in order of those who respond first uh, and then if you have credit you move you you'll be you, you'll move ahead of someone who doesn't have credit i have a credit outstanding for a lot of people a lot of people have been selling their bulk and just holding credit waiting for shining fates so uh, so they're going to get the product first that's that's just what i'm going to do and then uh, once i go through that list and then the list of whoever um, got the notification and uh, sent me a message but don't have credit i'll go through you next and then if there's anything left over after that i will then post to the uh, pokemart group with whatever might be left at least at that initial stage um, you know, more might come in with the different waves, but that's how I'm going to do it for the first batch that comes in. Um, and right now, I don't, I don't know any of the prices yet. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what uh, what the market is at that point in time. Um, and then, um, you know, some of none of the product. I, I'm not getting any product that I'm selling at retail. I've pay, over. I've paid more than retail for everything. Um, for the most part, I, I'm using uh, a lot of bulk to trade just to bring product in so that we there's more of it on island um so I'm, but I'm gonna wait because uh you know in the past i've sold things way too cheap um you know vivid voltage when it first came out i was selling boxes to some folks for a uh, hundred dollars so so uh i i don't i don't need to be at the same price as the market but i i don't want to sell it way too low as well because then it'll just all disappear and and a lot of people won't get any um i haven't decided on whether there'll be limits yet as to how much you can you can buy but if you have credit i am probably going to let you use up as as much credit as you have um because you know that that's part of the reason why you folks sold me the bulk was so that you would have credit to buy Shining Fates, and I want to at least let you use um, whatever credit you've built up to do that. Uh, so, important things to note again is to subscribe to the to Cassius's channel, turn on the notifications. I don't know, there's some bell or something. You've got to hit the button so that when the next uh, video, the next video that will get posted, will be the Shining Fates video. Then you'll get the notification, and then you'll have 24 hours to put your name on the list. Um, before uh, before I you know post it anywhere else uh, the goal is to try to keep as much of the product on island as possible um, if everything goes as I hope uh, I will have 
you know, several hundred loose packs available to to sell to people or trade to people. And then, you know, I'll have some ETBs. I won't have much of the other sealed product, um, the tins and all of that. I, I won't have mo most of it sealed because uh, the one way to get it here to Hawaii um, as cheaply as possible was to have the people that I'm dealing with open up the product and take it out of the boxes so that they could ship it more efficiently. Uh, otherwise, it would just cost too much and it wouldn't be worth doing. So, uh, so we'll see how much comes in and when it comes in. I'll give updates as that happens. Um, and then, like I said, you know, you'll, when you get the notification and you see the, see the, um, the video, um, message me, let me know you want to go on the list, and uh, then you'll be, I'll put you on the list and we'll go from there. Um, it's crazy time right now with Pokemon, and it's going to get crazier um, over the next few weeks. So, you know, if you were thinking about getting a particular, you know, set or a particular card, you, you probably now is the best time to get it. I mean, there is, there has been announcements of reprints for uh, booster boxes. I, I do expect that we will see, a, a, you know, quite a, quite a bit of product coming back in. But the reality is, uh, there's just no way that Pokemon can print up to demand right now. There's just not enough printers and time available on those printers in the world for them to meet demand. So whatever comes out, it might drop some prices of some of the booster boxes temporarily or, or a little bit. Um, but they will likely be gone very quickly and then uh, you know the products will go up again so you know if you're if you're worried about buying a product and it's just going to go down once the reprint hits the the reality is this has already happened before they've done reprints they did a reprint with uh, ultra prism uh, before and the price did drop and then the price went back up so it, it'll it'll drop temporarily if you're in this for a longer term and you're you're holding on to things for a while or it's part of your collection then you don't have to worry about it if you're looking at it to flip uh real quick to make quick easy money um you know you it'll be a little bit more tricky it, it's not as easy as it will seem um box prices keep going up uh and uh, but they, they are going to be reprinting a lot of sets and i would expect vivid voltage to be one of the one of the big ones that they're going to reprint um, they have proven that they do not like to see the boxes increase in value so quickly and that they will continue to reprint and it may be the case that they will be reprinting some of these boxes um, throughout uh, 2022 just to bring to you know to, to get caught up with demand but the reality is you know they have future product already planned usually products are um, you know they're planned eight months out in advance to get time to to print them all so uh, you know like uh, the next set that's coming out after shining uh, fates um, you know that for part of the main set uh, you know that there's gonna be a shortage of that also right out the gate so uh, you know pre-orders for that product has already increased significantly uh, and the reality is you know the days of getting booster boxes at you know below a hundred dollars are probably long gone They're, they prob that probably won't happen again for quite some time um, so you know keep that in mind as you you know you're shopping for your product out there all right thanks a lot